okay to move the four wheeler? Yep. Okay. It's pretty good one. Looks good. Don't drive fast. No. Little bit. Good. Nice work getting backed up in here. Not bad. Beast mode. Backup cam helps. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't tell him about the backup cam. <laughs> I use my mirrors too. Are you rock and roll? All right. Yeah, let's do it. There they go. There they go. All right. To be seen in a few weeks, maybe? Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. So um, we have to re-sticker. Yeah. But we're probably not going to do that today because we have more snow in the forecast. So since those are under a roof, we figure we can really sticker those anytime before they go in the kilns. So we're going to get back home and see what we can do today. <laughs> Two, let's go.
Yeah. Yay! You're getting straight up initiated. Oh boy, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. We have more blades. Cool. So we get to do another blade change. I remember how to do that. So you have to do this in a different order. You can't take the blade out of the wood. Great. Good luck. So you've got to take the mill off the blade instead of the blade off the mill. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So start there. Once you get that free, we'll put a new blade on it. And then we got to figure out how to get that blade out of the wood. Anyone who's building a house with their spouse, my marriage advice is don't finger point. <laughs> That's a good place to start. I really want to point the finger right now. Why? <laughs> and who? You. Why? Because <laughs> you didn't tighten it. What did I do? You didn't tighten it. Right. But, I should have checked it. Yeah. But you didn't tighten it. Right. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? Like, I just want to make sure this makes it into the video. Do not, whoever edits this video, if don't edit this out. If you want to finger point, it's a natural feeling. It is natural. It's yeah, natural. it's good to be frustrated. But it's yes. also good to admit when it was your fault. Do you want to know my attitude right now? What? I get a coffee break. I haven't had a sip of coffee since we got back from the mill because I've been running to keep up with you. Okay, fine, I won't take a coffee break. I think I can do this on my own. Okay. Well, we don't know how much damage there is yet. Like, like maybe I damaged something more? Right, we don't know yet. How bad's it looking? I'm not sure. Looking a little rough right now. I see fibers. Yep, looks That's like it's good. jammed up behind the flywheel. Looks like that came out. Uh-oh, that's not good. Welcome to the club. Duh. I don't, don't want to jump through the hoop. I don't think that's in the instructions. Back it up, back it up. Not bad. Now look proud. Stand proud. Oh yeah. Ah. Got pretty dang far. Might have to cut it out of there. To the graveyard. <laughs> I don't think they can resharpen that one. We should send these all to Rob and be like, Rob, can you sharpen these? <laughs> yep, everything looks fine inside, so I think you're good to go. New belt, swig of coffee to get the ego back. Yeah. And then you're going again. Good job. You're doing a good job over there. Yep, yep, exactly. Yep, good job. What do you think? Should I do it? Do it. Maybe about 45 minutes. Ready to start cutting in these stacks, uh, but these are 27 feet and we need nine foot finished boards. So there's that risk that if we cut them too precise, they're gonna A, shrink or B, check in the kiln. There's that part of me that just can't bring me to cut this into waste. Let's take a look at this other stack really quick. It's some good looking wood, but it's a, short, a little shorter. I think this may be 22 feet. Well, they're super wide. But yeah, I think they're like 22s. 22s. If we cut 10 footers out of this, that actually wouldn't produce much waste at all. These will be two furs, yeah. So four boards per board. Let's do it. Gosh, I don't know. See where we're at. Like a lot of this stuff that's longer, there's a lot of it that's one board on the end. So while it's really beautiful, as it gets to the end, it narrows down. Whereas this board is just wide and stunning the whole way. I don't know. 
feel like I'm just getting like overthinking this by a mile and it just turning into waste. Isn't that what every other American does? Just mm. waste, waste, waste. Yep. Just because you think your house didn't have waste doesn't mean it didn't. You just didn't see the waste because it happened before it got to you. Wood pile, done. Did the camera scare you? No. Oh. I was thinking I needed to rotate so I could set it on the other side oh. of that pile. Of gotcha. I'm thinking about cheese and apples. Oh. I'm five. I'm five. It's break time, nap time, lunch time, play time, cartoon time. Recess! Does that sound good? I'm uh, kind of. Oh, you got me. I have You're to like a... my LF. Ready? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Do I have to do that to get one? Two squats per London fog. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha you back. If you could have anything, you want cheese and apples. How'd the chef do on the LF? It's pretty good. Satisfying? Very. Good. We just now got our water thawed. Yeah. For us overnight. It's a long story. The short, the short answer is, it's a long story. <laughs> Don't even bother. Don't bother, who cares, doesn't matter. Let's get back to making yeah. boards. We're gonna get a little over halfway and then we're probably gonna run to town. We have a bunch of errands to run. Instead of trying to just try to get it all done tonight and finish in the cold and the dark, we figure we'll try to finish tomorrow. One of the takeaways from our short break was that we can't grind out at the end of every day like we did. Part of, part of what led to so much of that burnout wasn't the long days, it was like we had to push long past where we wanted to push yep. past. But we were willing to commit and we did it. So we're finishers, which is really good, but we're trying to maintain the fun factor here. Yeah. Like it's work, but we're trying to quit while we're ahead. Instead of things start to break, sun's going down, backhoe's out of gas, battery's dead, tires are flat. I think the life we're both striving for is we want a life of work. Life is work, which is kind of how it is when you're working for yourself. You're not grinding every day. Yep. And then when there's an opportunity to take a day off, you do. I would rather have two happy days even if i'm working both days today and tomorrow then grinding yeah. it out till dark i don't know everything past dark is like 9 p.m <laughs> Pass while you're ahead yeah and i would argue we're not gonna lose much productivity ironically the last hour i swear we don't get anything done but it feels like you worked another hour we have to kind of i don't know like push our limits with these boards here. Everything below this top board is 27 feet and a snivel. And because we're trying to make nine foot boards out of most of this stack, everything we've been making to up till now was 10 foot. So we're cutting about four inches extra. So if we get any of that splitting or checking, we can cut it off after the fact. Being that these are 27 and a snivel, we're gonna try to cut these at like, just split whatever last bit of 27 we've got in three so we can make nine footers out of this stuff. And hopefully we'll have virtually no waste at all. And then hopefully when the boards come out of the kiln, we don't lose much in the length.
You know what? The sawmill ran out of gas. Really? Yep. And I realized it's like 45 minutes later than I thought. So and I think. Just a good breaking point. That's a sign it's time to stop. I think so too. I'm pretty excited that after all the fussing over these boards, we're going to have zero waste in this stack. Because of how these boards are going to go on our floor joists up top. This is our floor joist right here. These boards are going to meet in the middle like this. And it'll only be every third board. So if we have boards that are just a little bit short, let's say they're an inch short, we shouldn't have any problem running a longer board over to meet it. It's going to take a little bit more work. It's not going to be brainless construction. But it, it, the other option is we waste a third of every one of these boards. And I think everything will work out fine. We got 70 boards in just a, over three hours of actual milling time today, including a cheese and London fog break. One of the things that made the sawmill or the sawmilling of the timber so stressful was downtime. Broken blade today, we ran into the metal upright the other day. In an ideal world, you have this kind of clock ticking in your head, like, oh, it'll take me X number of hours to do this job. Because Alyssa's fairly new to running the mill, it's expected. She's new to mechanical things. I'm still learning how to use a lot of these tools also. So there's a lot of kind of just mutual on the job learning between the two of us. I'm loving that she's having fun with this, even though she's had a couple of, you know, ah moments. When someone's learning, the worst thing they can do is have a really bad experience on their first couple of tries. Alyssa's kind of knocked out a couple of them pretty quick, but they're, they're going to be common. I think for people who have never run a sawmill before, you're going to make these rookie mistakes. I made them when we milled our frame. You gotta gotta get them out of the way early and then just keep your confidence high. Ooh, can't forget my London Fog. We'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? All right, don't go anywhere. Uh-oh, phone's ringing, gotta go.